Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Mark with Eclipse Lawn Care. We're gonna start this morning off by trying to get us some uh, breakfast real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna want a burrito or get me something more healthier, maybe like bananas and a protein bar. I don't know, we may go with a pro, pro what was that? Protein bar and a banana. I haven't been eating as much burritos as you guys probably think I've been eating because it, it seemed like uh, every time I eat unhealthy or eat a burrito a, a Red Bull drink a Red Bull I become real sluggish get tired real fatigue real tired but I've noticed since I cut out coffee Red Bulls I'll have a soda every once in a while with a meal and cut out eating burritos so i think we're gonna go ahead and do the best thing we did we definitely do got water i got my pedialyte so i think we're gonna go with a protein bar and uh we'll go with a banana a couple of bananas that should kind of uh keep me filled up until lunch and then whenever we hit lunch around lunch time then i'll eat me a burger or something something big so we got uh i think it's gonna be a short day it's gonna be I'm gonna make it a short day. I don't know, it just depends how I feel. We're doing the HOA backyards only today. And if I got more time, I'll knock out even tomorrow's. Uh, well, I'll go into tomorrow's schedule. So guys, y'all stay tuned. I'll get y'all some footage of me mowing. Let's get out of here. All right, well, they didn't have ready to eat bananas. But we went ahead and got the uh, Nutri-Grain Bar Blueberry flavor So I think these are pretty good actually Not bad I don't know if this is going to fill me up But it's supposed to give me some like morning energy What is it? 8 grams of whole grain I don't know what that means But I'm sure it's probably pretty good And healthy It, it, it does taste good It's, it's great Got me some uh, ice and water Got me a couple of well, that's almost empty. I got maybe, uh, I don't know, about 12 ounces of water to fill up. And then we'll may have to hit up another convenience store somewhere else. But bananas weren't, weren't ready. They were green. So I left those alone. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll breakfast on this baby. But you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, get to where we need to go. It is going to be, a, it's not going to be a long day for me. We'll see. Maybe. It, it could be. It could be if I wanted to make it. Like I said, we just got a handful of backyards we got to uh, take care of. And um, I don't know if I feel, feel good. So there it goes. This homeboy is right behind me. If you guys ever get a chance to come to Rockwall or Fate. Homeboys is the place to get your burritos. I believe it's fake. Real cool, cool owners. They're awesome, nice, nice people, nice folks. In the morning, guests, the whole pumps will be uh, covered with lawn care guys filling up, fueling up, getting them burritos. You know how it is. You know how we do. finish this up and we'll talk to you once we get to our location okay this is going to be our first backyard very small real tiny we just got this area nothing growing on that side and then we got this area which we have to climb the mower up them stairs which is not a big headache but there's a technique that i use to get it up and you guys will see that but we're going to go ahead and cut this on a three and a half. Very easy. Straightforward. Minimal edging. Just that. But we do have some perimeter weeding we got to knock out. Not bad. Real easy. Probably take about a good five, seven minutes. We'll see. Let's go.
go pretty easy not too hard not a lot of grass to mow I may have to uh, see if he wants to get his concrete cleaned power washed I may I'm gonna know when I get back into the truck I'm definitely gonna email him and see if he wants that done so uh let's go ahead and get back to the truck oh yeah check this out had to put some gorilla tape around this plastic handle snapped into not sure how well i know how it got banged up in the trailer but that gorilla tape looks like it's holding pretty good solid but that's the bad thing about these non-commercial mowers is that you know you bang them up against a wall bang them up against your trailer or another mower inside the trailer they break it's plastic it is what it is so i'm using the 21 honda mower if you guys are uh i guess curious of what i'm using this is the hrx 217 i'm using the steel bg86 handheld blower and i'm using the 225 by echo all right you guys know what time it is time to get to the next one okay we're here at our next property backyard speaking of parking spots now this route i have to park in the alley because i'm only doing backyards right so the bad thing about it is see i'm blocking customers or uh homeowners driveways so i always get a honk while i'm mowing and they kind of let me know that i need to move right and also on tuesdays the waste management trucks also uh make sure the dog's not in here the trash can guys right garbage guys they come around around the same time i start mowing and i kind of once i hear the truck i know i need to bust out and move so this is the property we're going to knock out in the back we're going to use the skag on this one gate is wide enough to get the skag through and the backyard is big enough to use a skag even if it was a tiny tiny yard i'll still use a skag i actually have one here that it's a very tiny tiny backyard but there's always dog poop galore in the backyard so I'd rather just use a skag whenever I do that small yard as well. So let's go ahead and hop on the skag. Let's knock this backyard and we'll go to the next one. The next one, I'm gonna mow, but also I have to, uh, there's some vines that are growing up, creeping up the customer's window. So I gotta pull all that off. Hopefully it's not anything dangerous. If it is, you guys are gonna get to see it. If not, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Collect my cheddar, let's go. All right. <laughs> As I was about to crank up the skag, a customer came and uh, asked me to move the trailer. So there you go. That's what I was talking about. That's the parking spots is a pain in the butt when you have 14 foot trailer in the truck. And not only that, whenever you have to, when you have circumstances like this, where you have to park in the backyard or in the park in the alley. So. right it always happens never never fails so let's see uh, i think he's he's able to get out he should be able to get out from there giving them enough room so what i'll do i'll just wait till he pulls out and then uh then we'll kind of back it up a little bit because i don't want to block this truck here and i don't want to block whoever lives there well I don't know, I don't know. Did he, he hasn't, I didn't see him get out yet. Well, let's wait, we'll wait for a couple of minutes. We'll give him a couple of minutes. Okay, you see. Or, uh, I don't know, they may be coming out this way. That's the life of Eclipse. Uh, let's go in here. I'm gonna move out because they're I don't think they could let me let's go ahead and move out We'll give them some room Yeah, let's give them some room. Oh, okay. They're going the other way Okay, it's all good 
but as you can see I have to go I have to go through the alleys because all all I service here is backyards not all of them but I got a handful of customers here in this area in this community they have an HOA guy which is actually a friend of mine who takes care of the of this community so let's go back around let's go back around and park where we were at and we'll continue so we're gonna get on the skag we're gonna cut to appropriate height uh, gotta drive slow through here there's a lot of elderly it's an it's an elderly community or not an elder well mostly maybe retired elderly folks that live in this community all right so we're gonna go ahead and get in here once again so we're gonna we're gonna mow to appropriate height we're gonna there's no edging but a lot of trimming and a little bit of blowing so let's see if we can't do this again hopefully this other neighbor doesn't come out which i wouldn't uh bet on it the thing is i gotta hurry up because who knows how how long it's see because i'm block i'm already blocking there i'm blocking their driveway again so we're gonna try to get out here real quick knock it out before they come back you think we could do it let's see got the mowing done we got the weed eating done now all i have to do is blow off the patio which isn't really a lot the lawn wasn't as messy as usual cut it a little bit higher than usual just because uh even though it was bermuda grass i cut it kept it a little higher just because uh it you usually the ground isn't as or the grass isn't as dense as usual but since i've been kind of mowing it at a higher level the grass is filling up pretty well oh man i'm breathing hard it is humid i think it's probably about 70 75 percent humidity today Woo! so it's kind of hard to breathe no joke so let me go ahead and get this done let me go ahead and start blowing then uh we'll head on to the next and pull off the vines off of the window over at my other customers let's go
not bad we're not done yet though I gotta pull some weeds that are in the uh, stones there in the backyard as well you guys won't see that just because I don't want the customer um, well I don't want to be with their uh, you know windows and stuff open so you guys just got to take my word for it there is weeds and the paper stones and I'm gonna pull them out it's gonna look nice I may spray it we'll see I'll pull them out okay uh, that was it that was all the vines that was uh by the window so go ahead and dispose of that I'm gonna knock out this other yard backyard only I'm gonna use the skag v ride 32 you can see mostly grass is bermuda back over there closer to the tree is zoysia so we're gonna cut it I don't know let's see i think we have it like around a four maybe we may keep it on the four maybe drop it down to uh three and three quarters we'll see love cutting this yard i'm gonna go ahead and post up sorry guys i love flower seeds and i know a lot of times y'all guys hear me spitting could be gross but it is flower seeds it is what it is love it let's go Hey. Uh, I have a question to you. Okay. Okay, the next time you come, I know they got all that stuff piled over there now, but is it possible for you, I would pay you whatever you would do it, to, to weed whack around each sprinkler, because they're getting, um, my, they one broke and my son was out there for a whole hour repairing it. Have, hey, a, have a good week. Yeah, you too, you're in my prayers. I'll take care of the sprinkler heads when I come back Tuesday. Okay, that'd be good, because there's too much stuff here anyway. Okay, thank you.
right, it's your boy Mark. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a view. Now, I didn't show any weed eating or blowing, but I think we got enough mowing footage. Looks pretty good, like I mentioned. We got Bermuda here. And then over here on the shade, we have Zoysia, which pretty much looks the same. Not bad. <coughs> I know we're gonna have to do some thinning out up here in this tree right here. I don't know, it looks like it's dying. Does it look like it's dying? It might be dying because of the freeze that we had earlier here in Texas, but I don't know. But also, customer wants me to weed eat around these sprinkler heads but the thing is let's try to find them so I'm probably going to do that next week or I may come down later on this week and get knocked that out for her so we're going to have to flag them or well, actually we're going to have to raise them up turn on the irrigation flag them and trim around them yeah because right now i really don't know where that i mean yeah you can't yeah it's impossible to try to find them like that but we will do that either next week or if i got some some time this week we'll may be able to knock that out so stay tuned guys i'll have some footage on on that Stop on there, load it up. I have to go get me some water. Down the store, convenience store. I don't know what time is it. If it's lunchtime, I'm gonna have lunch. Your boy's gonna have lunch, and then we'll pick up back where we left off. I think it is lunchtime. Feels like it. So if it is, I'm gonna have lunch. We'll come back, swing by. We got one, two, three, four, five. We got like five more in this area. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see y'all. Just chill out for a little bit. backyard let's go ahead and give you a little view of what's going on here so we got this tree that's usually in the way I wish we could cut this out take it out it's kind of weird how it's just kind of growing leaning like that but it's kind of kind of strange but we got it it's okay there I guess for now <clears throat> but I would like to remove it we got this Got the skag be right too so we're gonna go in and try to knock all this out we got to be careful we don't run over these branches here <clears throat> we just sharpened the blades last week if you guys didn't see that video i will put the card right above and you guys can check that out <clears throat> Victor with the mow ranger came down, brought his machine, and uh, we had a little blade sharpening party. So shout out to the mow ranger. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get on the skag. I'll give you a little skag point of view, and let's get hustling.
Okay, so here we go. Not too bad. Got the skag there. Not too bad that we got it. It's just uh, pretty much just the yard that we need to keep the weeds pretty much trimmed. We got it trimmed. Like I said, that's a weird looking tree. I would like to get rid of that tree. I don't even know what kind of tree it is. If you guys can let me know what kind of tree this is here. Those are the leaves that are on it. I don't see any fruit. Let you see this up close. Y'all guys let me know in the comments what tree, what kind of tree is this? again parking in the alley is always a pain in the rear just because like I said a lot of these homeowners do park where the garages are through the alley or in the alley and usually I gotta move my truck out of the way which is okay but we're gonna go ahead and knock this one to my left out right here so hopefully we'll be able to knock it out without disturbing anybody's blockage or blocking anybody in their driveway. So let's see if we can't do this without having to move my truck out of the way. Because usually I have to go make a big circle and come back. So I don't know. You guys think I'll be able to do it? I think I'll be able to make it. Because I got one here. I got two there. And then towards the end I got another one so we'll be blocking the the alley for I don't know maybe about 15 minutes 15 minutes because the one this second one that I got to do I have to do both front and back so hopefully let's see if we can't get this done without having to move our vehicle a second time today so we already had to move it once today uh, may have to move it again we'll see all right let me get a drink ah, let's get to it all right we're here at this property but we got a little doggy doggy right here hey puppy all right you gotta go inside okay you gotta go inside goes 
take a look at this real quick. Definitely overgrown a little bit, so we're gonna try to cut this at least halfway down. Very thick. Wow, look how thick it is. Probably try to knock out some of that um, flower bed grass as well. I'll do that for her. Um, but it's super thick. Thick and wet. But we'll get it knocked down. Let me get the tripod post up and uh, let's get some long footage.
right, here's the aftermath. No dogs were harmed in making this video. So we kept it, we cut, I think half of, about half of it. So looks good, looks great. Pick up my blower, we're already, we're already blown off. So I just gotta blow this driveway off a little bit. And uh, just that little piece of grass there, I'm gonna blow that off. Customer said I could get me a water. So I'm gonna get me a water. And we're off to our next second to last one. Let's go. Okay, so we got this next one right here. This is the one that we're gonna do backyard and front yard, mow and edge and blow. Uh, this is one of the uh, only ones in this HOA. The HOA is supposed to take care of her front yard, but what she doesn't like is the HOA keeps the mowers all on one height and she doesn't like her super short which i totally understand she just planted uh saint augustine in the front so she doesn't want the hoa guys to mow it so i'll mow her front and back it is what it is you know i charge what i usually charge for a yard this size so we're gonna do that but i'm gonna kind of just kind of kick back here in the ac a little bit crank her crank her up a little bit cool down just uh, for a minute or two drink some water got my water I got my Pedialyte packet I might throw one in here just to kind of get kind of replenish those electrolytes like I mentioned I'm starting to eat right you know try to take away uh, try to take away the sugars I still eat processed food I just had McDonald's for lunch by the way it was, it was okay it was good but in the mornings I try to not get any burritos just eat fruit like a banana or two and a power bar cereal bar whatever your breakfast bar whatever you call them they're okay they're good so and I'm feeling a whole lot better because by 1130 before before I started eating right my legs were shaky I couldn't squat down I couldn't pick things up I mean it was just it was hard and I had to go home and knock it out blood pressure was high so I'm feeling a whole lot better I feel like I'm able to go through the whole day without um, is it still on are we on okay yeah we're still on I'm able to go out th through the day without being fatigued sluggish or whatever yada yada so I'm gonna chill here watch some YouTube video maybe a video or two we'll see and then uh, I'm gonna get after it at this property here I'm not gonna bring my camera out cut just because customer does always come out and talk to me so I just don't want to do that I may show you the uh, before and after I'll do a weed whacker lawn care style uh, video on this one so I'm gonna kick back a little bit guys and uh, We'll see the before and we'll see the after. I don't know if we'll see the before. Like I said, usually, since I'm parked back here, customer already hears the truck. So they're probably getting ready to come out and greet me. So, I don't know. We may not get the before footage. We may, I, I'm going to get y'all some footage either way, man. Y'all guys stay tuned. Stay put. Just chill out for a bit. All right. Here's the aftermath. Doesn't look too bad. Very, very nice, easy long to cut except uh you keep i keep on bonking my head on these branches but you know it is what it is we may have to trim that back a little bit but there it is now we just got to blow this and we'll be off to our last one of the day
hot one today y'all it's not so much temperature hot but the uh humidity the heat index is way up there i was like i'm not even gonna wear a hat and i am sweating bullets but we got it done we got one more backyard mostly weeds that'll be cut not sure if i'm gonna film that or not maybe not my battery on my gopro is fixing to die out so hey man thank you guys for hanging out it's been uh it's been a good one it's been a good one i've been feeling good it's hot i'm sweating sweating out toxins i'm feeling pretty dang good i'm gonna knock out this last property and uh home run stretch from there so guys please subscribe please like please share please comment Ugh. come on it's hard to do it with one hand there you go Woo. i think i'm gonna watch me some videos for another five minutes like that that little bitty lawn took what less than five minutes to do and i am soaked like i am sweating and that's just a small little bitty property small backyard i'm definitely gonna crank up this ac sit in here for a few minutes oh man that one killed me i don't know why that one did kill me but we're gonna go ahead and knock out this oh good there's shade that's what i love about it so not gonna be too bad because there's actually shade yeah buddy all right so i'm gonna sit in the truck with the ac on in the shade but yeah today uh today was a pretty good day and i need to check up on richard to see if he was able to knock out my apartment complex today hopefully he did like i mentioned i wasn't i can never find a good parking spot i could but it'll be illegally then i'd have to pay the parking fines again and i don't want to do that so i'll let the manager know hey you know what if i can't get a designated parking area i'm just gonna go whenever i mean i'll park and i'll mow i'll service the property if i get a a parking spot a legal parking spot so we'll see how it is but if not if i could sub that apartment complex to a buddy richard for every week then i'm gonna do that it's worth it definitely worth it better than paying the fine the tickets Please subscribe, please like. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.